Welcome back to Live It Fit Now, the diet workshop. Cool segment, having a lot of fun with this. Chef Binks and I put on diet seminars and workshops for our clientele because nutrition is a very big topic. We can't cover it with just a quick diet. We can't cover it with just some calories. We wanna break down food to help people incorporate it into their life to get the most out of it. You know, and I think that the diet workshop is super important and I'm so happy that we're sharing this with the viewers because it's right now. It's it's new information. It's the thing that just changed last week that we're giving you today that you can incorporate into your healthy lifestyle goals. Dietary fats, big confusion point just about fats in general um, on what's good, what's not good. It changes every day in the newspaper. We've got some really cool and insightful information this week. Fats are the new black. They're I've, popular. I've never heard that. Well, in, <laughs> let, let me take a step back here. The, the key thing about fats is a lot of people are, are of the age where fats were terrible. They were bad. They would lead to heart disease. There's too many calories. They're going to have all these cholesterol problems, all these things. Now we're hearing the opposite, which really is true. Fats are healthy. They're necessary. You need them for hormone production. Your brain runs on 98% fat. In Europe, they're big into these ketogenic diets, which are 75 to 85% fat. We're going to be talking about some good fats. We're going to be talking about some bad fats that you want to avoid. Take a look. Protein per serving will not change your blood sugar. So if your blood sugar is currently 100 and you have a serving of protein, it will not change your blood sugar. Can't live on protein alone though. If you try, you will die. Don't try. We need dietary fats. In fact, it's considered brain food. When I was a kid, it was very very known or a lot of teachers would tell you before a big test make sure that you eat a big breakfast of cereal of toast of bananas of juice you do that you'll go in and you'll actually want to take a nap during your test <clears throat> not the best thing to do it's better to have a high fat meal or some fats before a test than anything else it reduces inflammation in the body helps to drop body fat and promotes hormone production now yes there's a lot of different kinds of fats omega-3s are the best they repair they're the guys that come in and fix everything so right now if you're thinking you know what for years I didn't eat the right things for years I had a lot of carbs a lot of sugars eat a lot of things I should not have been having body fats too high maybe I have conditions maybe you have blood pressure maybe you have high blood sugar maybe you have diabetes maybe you have other things good fats help repair it omega-3 fats things like cold-pressed fish or fish oil repairs the cells, repairs it. Damage has occurred, we can't go back in time, but we can repair some of this. Flax oil, walnuts, sunflower seeds, almonds, macadamia nut oil, olive oil, even butter, even some MCT, which stands for medium chain triglyceride oil, and even cream, cream and butter are identical. Even some of those have omega fats. The highest ones, though, are in fish oil, macadamia nut oil, and walnuts, by far and away, okay? Those are all good fats. Now, bad fats, yes, we want to stay away from. We don't want to go out and have Crisco, shortening, lard, soybean oil, hydrogenated oils, margarine. We don't want those things. But even if you did, even if you had a bad fat, Jerry, if you said, I'm going to eat a spoonful of Crisco, I don't recommend it, but... I can't stop you, and if you did it, it wouldn't even change your blood sugar. Okay? Don't do it, though. Don't do it. Don't do it.